After years of service in the U.S. military, Henry's journey takes an unexpected turn as he returns to his roots in Hong Kong, setting his sights on a new career path as a teacher. His destination? Tak Kai Secondary School, where his past meets his future. Upon his arrival, Henry faces skepticism from the school principal due to his lack of teaching experience. However, armed with a recommendation letter from a higher authority, he secures the job. Little does he know, his first assignment will be anything but ordinary. Assigned to what is dubbed the school's toughest class, Henry braces himself for the challenge ahead. But nothing could prepare him for the chaotic scene that greets him on his inaugural day. The classroom resembles a scene from a mayhem-filled movie, with students engaged in everything except learning, from sleeping and singing to gaming and even cooking ramen on a portable stove. In a bid to captivate his students' focus, Henry abandons his attempts to divert their attention and instead circulates the classroom, engaging with their ongoing activities. He advises the cooking students to reduce their ramen consumption due to its high sodium content, offers assistance to Zufa with his ukulele playing, and cautions a dedicated gamer about the potential risks of prolonged screen exposure. Despite initial resistance, Henry persists, introducing himself and scrawling his name and phone number on the board, eliciting laughter with his messy handwriting. Undeterred by a request to leave from one student, Henry remains resolute, prompting the students to resume their activities. Frustrated by their indifference, Henry resorts to a drastic measure, using a rubber band and chalk to activate the fire sprinkler, prompting the students to scatter to avoid getting wet. With their undivided attention finally secured, Henry warmly welcomes them to his class. After school, a group of five students, known for their academic struggles, congregates in the sports supply room for a smoke session. Among them, Jack, the group's leader, harbors a secret admiration for an A-grade student from another class, his feelings evident as he gazes at her picture, much to the amusement of his peers. Their camaraderie is marred by a bitter rivalry with the affluent basketball team, who frequently taunt Jack for his economic status. Tensions escalate when the basketball team's practice session becomes the backdrop for Jack's mischievous act, causing the team leader to stumble after Jack carelessly drops a bottle onto the court, inciting laughter from his group. However, their amusement is short-lived as they face the consequences, landing in detention courtesy of the stern English teacher, Miss Liang. Determined to evade punishment, they resort to a prank on Miss Liang, seizing an opportune moment when she's preoccupied with tidying her desk. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the school, the principal grapples with distressing news as the education board threatens to slash a significant portion of their annual funding, adding to the school's woes. As the watchful eyes of the board descend upon the school, Henry finds himself amidst a dual spectacle. While officials inspect the allocation of funds, he strides into the classroom, unwittingly stepping into a student-planned prank. With a lightning-quick reflex, Henry averts the impending deluge from a strategically placed bucket, leaving the would-be pranksters dumbfounded. Their anticipation of amusement swiftly turns to astonishment as Henry outwits their scheme with ease. In a moment that underscores his unconventional teaching style, Henry redirects attention to Jack's smoking habit. With a calm demeanor, he requests Jack's pack of cigarettes, intriguing the class with his intentions. A challenge unfolds as he tasks Zufa with naming the components of a cigarette, offering a reprieve from class for a correct response. The classroom erupts into a chorus of desk-banging protests, each student clamoring for a chance to emulate Zufa's temporary liberation. Henry's impromptu lesson transcends the boundaries of conventional education, revealing layers of engagement and unexpected revelations. In a daring move that catches his students off guard, Henry distributes cigarettes, prompting puzzled expressions and murmurs of curiosity. Yet, rather than delivering a conventional lecture on health risks, he challenges them to dissect the cigarette before them, unveiling its sinister secrets. Understanding the power of engagement, Henry sidesteps the expected discourse on health, delving instead into the mechanics of tar accumulation in their lungs. As the classroom transforms into a form of inquiry, Henry witnesses a rare sight, genuine interest in his teachings. As the school day draws to a close, Henry reluctantly collects the cigarettes, met with hesitant compliance from his intrigued pupils. However, the day's events take a tumultuous turn in the cafeteria, where a trivial altercation ignites into a chaotic brawl, shattering the peace. 
News of the fallout reaches Henry's ears, with five students facing temporary suspension for their involvement. As chaos mounts, Henry once again steps in, diffusing a heated confrontation in the hallway between Jack and his adversary. His actions underscore his steadfast dedication to restoring peace and promoting empathy amidst turmoil. When Jack accuses the school of being unfair, Henry decides to learn more about the five students involved. He looks at their files and finds out some interesting things about them. First, there's Zufa. He's the son of a Pakistani immigrant and faces discrimination because of his race. Zufa dreams of becoming a musician. Then there's Dinan. She's always felt like a disappointment to her father because he wanted a son. Dinan has tried hard to earn her father's respect, even pretending to be a boy when she was younger. Next, we have brothers Bruce and Chris. Their mom left them when they were kids, which made their dad turn to alcohol. Bruce escapes reality by playing video games, while Chris works to support their family. Jack's background remains a mystery, but his actions lead him into trouble with an MMA better. Despite getting beaten up, Jack is offered a job as a delivery man. Meanwhile, Henry tries to help Zufa, who's running away from his father. But when he learns more about the situation, Henry struggles to take sides. As Henry learns about his students' lives, he realizes how complex their struggles are and tries to find ways to help them. Then, he and Zufa rendezvous at the bridge. Henry, aiming to inspire Zufa, joins a street band and starts singing. Surprisingly, Zufa musters the courage to join in, belting out a tune for the first time since enduring bullying years ago. Meanwhile, Bruce and Chris endure yet another night of their father's habitual late returns and demands for alcohol. When they refuse, he lashes out, forcing them to confront the harsh reality of their fractured home life. In a daring act of compassion, Henry steps in, advocating for the brother's father to seek rehabilitation, recognizing the impact it would have on their family. Meanwhile, Deanan finds herself trapped in the confines of traditional gender expectations when her father presents her with makeup. Frustrated by his inability to accept her true identity, Deanan rebels, plotting an escape in her father's car. Just in the nick of time, Henry intervenes, steering her away from peril and suggesting an exhilarating diversion. A visit to a go-kart racetrack. Reluctantly, Deanan agrees, and as unexpected as it is, an invitation extended to her father transforms the outing into a tense yet revealing confrontation. As the father and daughter compete on the track, they feel a lot of strong emotions. When Deanan almost crashes but manages to avoid it, they both have a big realization. This brings them closer together, and they hug each other, which they need to do for a long time. Back at school, Bruce and Chris find themselves confronted with their father's past demons as they visit a rehabilitation center for an interview assignment. To their shock, they come face to face with their father, now on the path to recovery. In a raw and emotional exchange, their father lays bare the depths of his despair, attributing his descent into alcoholism to the abandonment by their mother. Though he doesn't disclose their relationship, his apology resonates deeply, leaving the brothers grappling with a flood of conflicting emotions. In another place, Jack gets caught up in a risky situation, working for a tough guy named Jianying. Jianying offers Jack a bunch of money to mess with a fighter's drink in a big match. Jack doesn't want to, but he feels like he has no choice. When the fight day arrives, things go south fast. Jianying sets up his fighter to lose, and Jack gets caught tampering with the other fighter's drink. Before he can say anything, he gets beat up and stuffed into a locker. Thankfully, Henry shows up looking for Jack. Despite facing tough opposition, Henry doesn't back down. He manages to outsmart the fighters and take down their best guy, who is about to step into the ring. Later, at the hospital, Jack tries to spill the beans about Jianying, but he's shut down. Despite the threats, Henry remains determined to uncover the truth and keep his students safe. As news of Henry's heroic act spreads to television screens, his image transforms from an ordinary teacher to a symbol of valor. His newfound fame resonates within the school walls, earning him the admiration and respect of his students. With newfound respect, students now greet him warmly, which is very different from how they used to ignore him. A flashback shows Henry's past as someone who played pranks during school. 
He remembers doing mischievous things, like getting into a fight that hurt another student. Even though he did bad things in the past, Henry starts to change as he looks back on what he did and tries to fix it. When he got suspended and went to the States, things started to change for him, and he began to make up for his mistakes and find a purpose. Now, in the present, Henry's influence in the classroom is strong as students are excited to learn from him and get ready for their futures. But amid this progress, there's worry about Bruce, who's struggling with relying too much on pills. In the shadows of their troubled home life, Chris sought solace in video games, while Bruce succumbed to the allure of drugs. Bruce's downward spiral culminates in a dismal performance on a crucial mock entrance test, signaling deeper troubles ahead. Despite Henry's earnest pledge to support him, Bruce's despair deepens over time. Tragically, his anguish reaches a breaking point, leading him to attempt suicide by jumping from their balcony. Rushed to the hospital, Bruce slips into a coma, leaving his loved ones reeling from the shock. Amidst the turmoil, the media sensationalizes the tragedy, casting blame on the school and implicating Henry in Bruce's desperate act. Faced with public scrutiny, Henry finds himself at the mercy of the education board, who deem him responsible and revoke his teaching license. As Henry prepares to depart from the school, a poignant display of solidarity unfolds as students rally behind him, imploring him to stay. Though heartbroken by his departure, they resolve to honor his legacy by redoubling their efforts to excel in their studies. On the eve of the crucial test, a sinister ploy unfolds as Jack and his classmates receive a deceptive message from Henry, urging them to gather at the school before the exam. Little do they know, it's a trap orchestrated by Jianying to thwart their chances of reaching the examination hall on time, all in a bid to settle the score with Henry. Upon discovering Jianying's nefarious scheme, Henry wastes no time in springing into action. With unwavering resolve, he confronts Jianying's henchmen, risking everything to ensure the safety of the students. In a heart-pounding showdown, Henry faces off against Jianying, each blow exchanged a testament to their long-standing rivalry. Amidst the chaos, Jianying reveals a startling truth. He was the victim of Henry's childhood prank, a moment that cost him a chance at a prestigious music competition due to a broken arm. In the aftermath of the tumultuous confrontation, Jianying's resentment towards Henry festers, and his dreams of musical greatness are shattered by a childhood incident. Despite Henry's attempts at reconciliation, Jianying's bitterness erupts into violence once more, culminating in a harrowing struggle for control. As the conflict reaches its zenith, Henry is faced with a pivotal choice, succumb to the cycle of violence or transcend it. In a moment of clarity, he spares Jianying's life, extending a heartfelt plea for forgiveness and closure. Meanwhile, the students, undeterred by the chaos, arrive at the examination hall in the nick of time, completing their tests with determination and resilience. Weeks later, their hard work bears fruit as they excel in their exams, paving the way for a brighter future. As Jianying tentatively returns to the piano, a symbol of hope and reconciliation, Bruce's swift recovery serves as a testament to the indomitable human spirit. With renewed determination, he vows to pursue his dreams of academic success in the coming year's entrance test. Amidst the triumphs, the school receives a welcome boon as the board rewards its exceptional performance with a generous funding boost. With the promise of a brighter tomorrow, Henry resumes his role as a teacher, armed with lessons learned and a renewed sense of purpose, ready to inspire yet another generation of students.